what's going on guys so i'm going to be posting more videos i promise and i'm going to be going on live soon but um you know life happens and i'm working on something okay um and my youtube is growing as you can see even though it's a slow growth um i've gained eight subscribers in the past um three days so that's a big improvement from dropping one or two every day and then up um, upping one or two back every day so I want to talk about this story. This Uber driver was ended by a deranged person that was so delusional that they thought that this guy was trying to kidnap him and bring him to Mexico. And you know, it's crazy that this should be a big story because this person literally um, stereotyped this guy, discriminated against this guy, because if this was another guy of a different color, this guy would not have um, had this happen to him, but because of him just, you know, getting hurt at his job, needing to make some extra money, decided to do ride share. Um, he had a person, lady with a ego, uh, thinking that, you know, like just because she's a woman, she's gonna get, you know, taken advantage of, uh, which made no sense um, in this situation I'm gonna go into because she thought because he was Hispanic that he was trying to take her to Mexico. So, um, before I get into that story, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy this, this type of um, content, uh, type of story, the format that I'm using right now, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. So, an Uber passenger mistakenly thought she was being kidnapped. She shot this guy in the back of his head and arm, okay? Um, she's been charged with murder. Now, she's from Kentucky. She was in Texas visiting her boyfriend. Um, she called an Uber to take her to her boyfriend's at the local casino when he got off work. Um, she allegedly became worried when she saw highway signs for, Cali girl? Juarez. Juarez, Mexico, according to police. Now, um, she's facing murder charges after shooting the driver um, in the head because she thought she was being kidnapped. Now, um, the woman, um, the police department, you know, literally told the woman, you know, you're an idiot. Um, you're not, you're never in danger. I mean, you should have looked at the app, the app would have, literally clearly showed you um, if you were going the wrong direction or being rerouted but obviously it didn't um, she was never in danger um, but she panicked because um, she thought he veered off the, um, um, you know off the directions um, to her destination now she's 48 being held on a 1.5 million dollar bond the family of the driver said that he was taking off life support on Wednesday um, I guess you know, his wife said he was the sole provider for their family. Um, he was happy to finally be able to work and bring home income as a Uber driver when, um, you know, he's dealing with a knee injury from his previous job that requires surgery um, this past April. So he passed away after, um, you know, getting um, shot, passed away uh, a few days ago. And just a sad situation. The reason why I went to address this story is because I talked about it a week ago. We get the most delusional people people that like you know i talked to you guys about how you have the guy with the bad credit obviously had bad credit he might even tell you he has bad credit and he's out of work like this guy would literally like like trying to make you out to be a criminal if he left his wallet in your car because he'll say oh you stole my identity you don't want to give me my wallet back because you're trying to like like get credit cards in my name like dude no like no it ain't happening and then you have the guy that got good credit, that got money and all that. He's gonna like hit you up, you know, you find my wallet. And if you say, no, I didn't find it. I didn't see it in the back seat. He's gonna just keep it moving. You know, then you have the people who will literally be the last people on this earth that's gonna be kidnapped. Like they have nothing to offer, you know, um, in regards to being kidnapped. And I'm saying that's for everybody because you know, you have some sick people, some serial killers that try to go after, you know, the handicap, the freaking disabled, the freaking elderly, the, now I'm you know, the people that can't help and fight back. Those guys go after those people, okay? But nine times out of 10, the people that get kidnapped are gonna be people that are gonna go, they're gonna put up a fight. Um, they're gonna have to be sedated. They're gonna have to be, you know, um, due to the fact that those are the people that you hear about Uber drivers, um, ending kidnapping taking their lives um so as i was telling cali girl i'm like this lady um as cali girl noticed she had like surgery in her in her, in her, in her chest um 
the lady was just kind of psycho. And I noticed she had like pink eye. And I'm like, she should have like weighed it out and said, you know what? Will this guy really cost himself his freedom because he's gonna get caught because I'm the last person or he's the last person with me as I proceed to be taken to Mexico. Um, he's gonna lose, lose his life because he's gonna go to jail um, forever. Um, is it worth him doing this at this point? You know, this short little casino ride? No. And then on top of that, I can fight back. And my boyfriend's waiting for me at the casino. She didn't weigh any of that. She just thought that he was taking her to Mexico for no reason at all. Um, I think she might be mentally messed up because who just shoots a guy like that? She could have shot the guy somewhere. She could have just strangled the guy, you know? But to shoot the guy, like, point blank. But... I wanted to bring the story up because this is the dangers as a, us Uber drivers are dealing with and facing due to the fact that you have delusional people that think that, you know, we're out to hurt them when we're just trying to make money like this guy, just trying to make money, earn a living. Um, and, you know, he did no wrong. You know, he tried to, instead of going and just trying to get on, you know, uh, welfare or social security early, whatever, he's just trying to pay bills. As the wife said, he had no other choice because his job fired him for getting hurt on a job, which is crazy in his own. But that's a little story I want to bring you guys. But like I said, I'll be back um, maybe with another video later today. But tomorrow, I'm going to go live. Um, but yeah, we're, we're dealing with this wedding situation this weekend. So that's all I got for now. I'm out. Peace.